Today we're going to be discussing crickets and how to take care of them. So, first off, cricket keeper. What do you keep crickets in? So now that we have that, it comes with a nice variety of things that makes owning and distributing crickets to your animals easy. First off, it has these tubes which the crickets can't crawl up into. And when you take them out, they have a little flap that comes down and closes over the hole so you don't have escapees. It also comes with these little trays which you can put food and water into. So now that we have all that down, we're going to put the tubes back in and show you how easy it is. Now that we have the tubes back in there, we are going to add some bedding so our crickets don't stink. It makes it more sanitary for the animal to live in while it's waiting to be fed off. So we take our bag of shredded, bag of shredded aspen. Now that we're going to put that in there. And now that we have our magically filled cricket keeper, <laughs> we're going to add our crickets. I've already pre-distributed into this cup. So now we have some happy crickets jumping around, but they're a little hungry and thirsty. So what we do is we have a variety of products here in stores that you can purchase online or come in. One of them is going to be from Flukers. It is a water bite. It's a gel form of water so they can't drown in it and get their hydration that way. We also have from Flukers an orange cube is what it's called. It's an all-in-one food and water product. We also have Fluker's Cricket Food, which you'd use with the Fluker's Cricket Water Bites. Another company we have, which is very nice, is Nature Zone. Water Bites again. Green Cube all-in-one total bites. And they also have a concentrated formula, which we use here in the store. Just add water, and it turns into a one gallon size of the water bites. So now we're gonna take it and fill one of these up. Take and scoop an appropriate amount of food for the amount of crickets you have and put it in with the crickets so they can munch down. Add lid and we have happy crickets waiting to be eaten. One thing about crickets is they like to be kept at temperatures between 72 and 78 degrees. Any higher than 80 degrees and they do start dying off very quickly due to the heat. They are very against humidity. You want to keep the environment dry, but have food and water ready for them when they want it. You just don't want to overdo it with that. Also, like I was saying earlier with the bedding, you want to put bedding in there instead of having a bare bottom. It makes it more sanitary and less odorous.